Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Nox Archaist, shall we? Well, this game was uh, recommended to me by a friend on the channel, and I reached out to the developer. They were kind enough to provide a key for this 1980s throwback Apple II RPG, and we're kind of bringing back that era of gaming, of Ultima, Wizardry, games of that ilk, Bard's Tale, the kind of like progenitors to the RPGs that we play today. And, you know, the graphics and everything about the presentation here is evocative, of course, of that time, and is, you know, putting me on a stroll down memory lane. I remember as a wee lad using Apple II computers at school, and indeed, this would be the color palette and the way that the games would present and so I'm excited to see what this game is all about. So I'm going to start a brand new game right here. Do you accept the licensing agreement? Yeah, sure. Create your character, name, gender, and race. All right. Okay. Um, I will be Dr. Incompetent. There it is. All right. And um, we're going to go down here. Uh, male is fine and uh, race, human. Gives you plus two ranged weapon skills. Halfling gives you plus two lockpicking skill. Elf gives you plus two intelligence. Dark Elf gives you some critical hit. Dwarf is melee weapon skill. And human. All right, well, I really can't say no to the dwarves. They're so sturdy. Look at that melee weapon skill. Love it. So it's a, pretty much a Tolkien, um, you know, racial background for the game so far and i'm down with that so let's go you are an adventurer trained under the order of nox archaist queen Issa has given you a writ of authority to investigate a strange new cult hearing rumors of a dark void tied to the cult you have set sail for a nearby island all right so we're going after the cult. The queen has given us a writ of authority so we can just flash this paperwork and get our way without any problems, I'm sure, as we deal with the dark void and the cult. And we're going to an island. Look at that text scroll. Oh, yes. I really like this when, um, you know, they make games. Uh, I've played some games that are throwback where it emulates, like, for example, Nintendo. And, you know, they put in some of the screen flicker uh, and the artifacts that were present in games of the era because of either deficiencies with the technology uh, or just limitations of the technology. So, like, maybe your contacts weren't clean on your console or, um, you know, the, the hardware just couldn't support what the game was trying to do. So they would have to do all kinds of wild things to get the game to run. Uh, and so that text scroll there kind of brings me back with that. Also, the rainbow font is just hysterical where there's like, I remember seeing text like this all the time where they would make it more colorful, you know, and give it some depth. Uh, but it just has this uh, almost iridescent quality to it. Once on board, you realize this is a pirate ship and the captain has been paid by cultists to sail straight into the void. Oh my gosh. My writ of authority didn't do much for me. I, I'm, not a, I'm not the keenest dwarf on the uptake. I'm like, yeah, this, this all-black ship with the skull and crossbones, is this the ship that I should get on? When you protest, the captain knocks you out and throws you into the brig. Oh my gosh, I'm in the brig already. I just started. As you wake, the ship enters a mighty storm. A fell voice on the wind whispers a name. Wazaroth. All right. Or, no, wait. I read that wrong. Vazaroth. Okay. So, Vazaroth, I hear on the wind. Timbers burst. Water pours in. And the ship begins to sink. You have a knife, the writ, and a bag of coins. Boy, that's not much. Welcome to Valley. The World of Nox Archaist. Press any key to begin the game. All right. I'm pressing the key. We're going to start the game. 
and it saved the game. We're in. Oh boy. Yes, I was wondering if there was going to be music, because there was nothing when I booted the game up. Oh man. Yes, look at this. Okay. So the music is amazing. Love synth music like this. Some of my favorite game tracks of all time are honestly just Nintendo tracks. Um, and so this is right there. And you've got these nice, big, chunky sprite squares. Awesome. There's even animation to it. So there's a lot of love and care that's been put into... Uh, that, like, you can see my character every once in a while just kind of moving on his tile, just slashing his sword around. I'm in the, the brig, and... Uh, I have 5 gold, 50 food, and it's uh, 10 a.m. apparently. And let's see, I can walk to the east. Press O to open the door. Okay, there's a baked-in tutorial. How fantastic is that? I did it. I've opened the door. Direction, uh, I want to open the door that's in front of me. And I open the door. And I'm going to move up here. I'm going north. Walk north to fight the rats. I see them. Press A to attack with a weapon. Press C to... Um, let me see what they want. Cast a spell. Use the arrow keys and the space bar to select the target. All right, fantastic. So I wonder if I can attack on diagonal. Let's find out. So I'm going to push A and... Uh, that's a no. Nothing to attack. Okay, so you can't attack on diagonals. We're just talking about up, down, left, right. North, south, east, and west. Now, there's looks like, you know, there's a little table and a chair, and maybe a, I don't know what this is over here, an oven or uh, a brazier of some kind of heat source for whoever was guarding the brig. And uh, I don't want to walk up there. Can I move down? Maybe the rats won't attack. I feel terrible, though, if, like... Do I have a spell? Let me push C. Um, okay. Um, I don't think I have a spell. Oh, okay. You get into a separate battle screen. Ooh, yes. I remember this back in the day. Certain games would do this. So, um, I was thinking it was, you know, kind of a, a roguelike where I would just step up and, you know, turns were passing one by one. We were exchanging turns. And then the rat would attack me and I would attack it back at the location that we saw. But this is a game where you have a um, separate battle screen that you go into. And it's a tactical battle, so this is Ultima, baby. Or at least it reminds me of Ultima, right? Um, and I'm not talking necessarily Ultima 1. This is more like uh, Exodus, perhaps, you know, where you have this, like, tactical battle screen that opens up. Fierce foes are before you. Tactical combat is advisable. Quick or tactical? Oh, you can, like, auto battle or something? I'm going tactical, baby. I push T for tactical. Look at that. There's me. All right. I'm up at the top. I've got green and magenta bars. I don't know if that's like spell points. Um, cast a spell. I pushed a button to cast a spell, but I don't think I have a spell. I'm pushing arrows, too. I'm just going to push escape. And I'm going to just walk up. They walked up too. I'm going to push attack and A to do that. And it says uh, left hand melee, select target. So you can see I'm selecting the rats in front of me. I'm going to bap these rats. You bet you I will. All right. And let's see. I've got them selected. Let's see if I push enter to do that. Um, I missed and it hit me but did no damage mercifully. So I'm going to attack again right up there. And I killed it. Yes. Experience plus two. Doctor Incompetent, press escape to exit. All right, we, we finished the battle. We got two experience. We didn't even take any damage. Oh, my gosh. You love to see it. Look at this treasure reward screen. Oh, wow. You know, there's like a little torch, and there's just small chests. There's gold everywhere. Looks like a, you know, mithril shirt, a bow. That's all for me. Really what I got is two experience and two food. But that's great. So maybe there's a satiety system built into the game as well. Um, interesting. Okay, so now I have 52 food. Now I don't know if food will just tick down as I move, or if I need to use it to camp out. We're going to find out. 
one minute passes every time that I take a step. Can I, um, I'm going to go see if I can investigate like this chair. Blocked. Oh my gosh, do you see this? I'm sitting in a chair. What a sweet animation. They actually rendered your character sitting in a chair. Like most games, you would just, they would just cover up the sprite underneath and then, you know, you would see your character. But there is an awesome old school, I'm sitting in a chair animation. See, these are the kind of games that I grew up on. And so, unlike contemporary games, you know, there is a modicum, if not an outright, you know, spate of imagination that you have to use to fill in the details. You know, like you can see, okay, these are wood planks on the ship and there's a table with a candle and, you know, there's water flowing. It's pretty obvious what it is, but you have to kind of like elevate that in your mind a bit uh, and you have to say, okay, the door is purple that's probably not, you know, the way it would look. Some of the colors are off because there's limitations uh, to the palette and everything like that. So you kind of just create this mental activity where you edit the presentation for yourself based on what you get out of the game. As opposed to obviously today where everything is like unmistakably drawn with incredible detail and accuracy. All right, so we're going to go up here, and I step on this, and I automatically transition up the stairs. And it looks like I'm in the the captain's quarters, uh, or a bar. I'm not sure. There appears to be a some kind of shelf to the south, maybe a bookshelf, if this is a, a well-read individual. And there's uh, a dude over there who either has a sword or a magical wand behind... A long table with some goblets on it, and he's guarding a chest. So I got to step over here and walk next to the pirate and press T to talk to him. Type in name, job, or any capitalized word he says to you. Okay. Um, let's see. So I'm going to push T to talk to this guy. All right, so this isn't the captain. He's just some dude from the crew. You see a disoriented pirate. He doesn't seem to recognize you as a prisoner and assures you're part of the crew. Uh, assumes, rather, you're part of the crew. Uh, we're shipwrecked, matey. I'm any key. Not sure what happened. All right. He's like, I'm not sure what happened. He's so disoriented, he doesn't seem to recognize that, like, I'm the prisoner. So let's just go with it. Be like, yeah, matey, uh, it's me. I'm sorry. Uh, can you help me out? All right, so he's telling me shipwrecked, okay. Uh, and that's in caps. So let's see what I can do here. Ship wrecked. Arr, the captain may have said something in his log about what happened. Log? Don't just sit there, you swabby. Help me look for it. It might be on this bookshelf or in that there chest, or it could be in the dresser in his quarters. Okay, so this is not his quarters. This is just like the hangout room. This is like the the common space for the pirates, the, the reading chamber. I'm on a good pirate ship. They've got libations, recreation, Men of culture. All right. So this is awesome. So basically, you can almost like, uh, not necessarily Zork, but a lot of text adventures early on, uh, you don't, you're not given like a dialogue tree with options to choose from. The guy just talks, and then he recognizes certain keywords that you can say to him to get further information. Uh, okay. So that's, that's enough. R press a key. All right, so that closes the window. So let's see. I'll go um, down to the bookshelf. He's standing there, so i got to come up to the chest from underneath. Uh, the tutorial says, walk next to the bookshelf in the corner. Then the chest by the pirate. Okay, I will. When adjacent, press S to search those objects for loot. Cool. So S is search, T is talk, and A is attack, and C is cast spell. Fantastic. All right, let me go down here and press S and search to the east. 
Magic Missile Found. Oh, cool. I wonder if that's a spell that I can cast. I'm going to search it again. Nothing found. All right. And let me try to search the table. Nothing found. Okay. I'm going to go here. I'm going to sit in the chair like, you know, just really relax for a while. Then I'm going to search to the north. Who will pick the lock? Well, I'll pick the lock. I'm, I seem to be the only person. I don't know if you get a party in this game or what, uh, but that would be awesome. Right now, it's just me. Pick broke. Again, you betcha. Who will pick it? Me. We got nine gold. All right, I just took the guy's gold. Or, you know what? This could be a a community of pirates, right? So this could be like the pirate commune. Like, they share their gold. They share their treasure. And I took it all. So I'm not sharing. I just took your money. And let's go check the captain's quarters. Uh, I can look out the window. Wow, that's cool. The line of sight you can see adjusts below me to the south to reflect that I'm looking out the window. Like, if I move here to the west, right, everything is blacked out because I'm looking at the wall to the south. But if I move in front of this porthole or window, I can see, you know, the water and the, the ruins of the ship beneath me. And if I search to the south, there's nothing there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and push. Oh, that's right. We also have open door. O opens the door. And we've opened the door, and we're moving out here to the center. Walk east to the captain's quarters. Okay, says the tutorial. I'm going to search this barrel, though. Nothing found. That's a shame. All right, we're going to walk over here to the captain's quarters. I'll open the door. And all right, we're in the cappy's quarters. Walk next to the dresser when adjacent, press S to search it. Indeed. All right, I'm going to go over here, and we'll just push S, and to the east, captain's log found. All right, I got the log. Um, okay. To read the captain's log, press tab twice to view inventory. Next, find the captain's log and press U to use it. Okay, awesome. Invalid command. Yeah, I pushed enter there to just kind of close that text box. Tutorial. To exit, leave via the door you came in. Indeed. I will. I will. Just let me... Okay. All right. You give me a moment here. Okay. Oh, God. Um, let me just push tab. I push tab once, and it opens up the party screen, or just where I am. It definitely looks like you can have a party, because where it says Dr. Incompetent in the upper right, there's, like, plenty of room for other people. And let's see. My status is good. Gender, male, race, dwarf, level 1. Need 100 experience to level up. My stats are very balanced. Um, I don't know if WT means weight. Uh, I have a hunting knife and a wooden shield in my hands. And let's see. Um, I have cloth, helm, robes, boots, and gloves as my armor. My readied equipment. My stats are like this. Uh, modified damage. Left hand, 18. Right hand, nothing, because it's got a shield. My armor rating is 38. I have zero resist magic. My two hit percentage is 52. And my skills are thus. So, at, because I picked a dwarf, I have two melee skill. And apparently, maybe you start with one lock picking. I don't know if that's just a generosity of the game, because functionally, you have to be able to lock pick. Um, anyway, I'm going to push 2 to change the tab. And this is my readied equipment. And three is my um, armor. Okay. Four uh, shows me things that I'm carrying. So I have torches, lockpicks, the writ of authority, coin of the realm, and I have the log. So I'm going to go down to the log. And you can see in the bottom right, uh, it WT is weight. And it says I have six of eight, meaning like, um, I can only carry two more pounds before becoming encumbered. And most of my weight is actually coming from torches, lockpicks, my writ, coins, and the log. Um, but there's also, you can use, info, discard, uh, ready, space goes to the next character, tab is the next menu. Okay, so if I go to info on this, it says, just gives me the, the overall stats on it. So it says weight. It says dex. I don't know if that's dex required to use it or what that actually entails. Armor rating and resist magic. Okay, so I'm going to push you to use the log. And when we got close to the dark void, a strange storm rolled in. Those cultists and their infernal dark void missions have doomed us. Well, yeah, I mean, when you take the dark void mission, even if you're a pirate captain of some authority 
you got to be a little bit suspicious of the um, not only the moral integrity, morals might not be your concern, but how about safety? You know, is this a safe mission? And he gambled. He flew too close to the sun on wings of pastrami, and we ended up shipwrecked. I should have listened to Irene when she told me they were up to no good. You should have listened to Irene. Always listen to Irene. All right, and let's see. Um, that's the information that I got. So I'm going to push escape uh, and close that menu, and I'm going to open the door. Okay, and we're going to walk out. To exit the shipwreck, wade into the water. For now, avoid deeper water or you'll drown. That's unfortunate. Press L to look at the terrain. Okay, cool. I was wondering if there was a look command. All right, I'm going to push L, and you can just look like in front of you. It's a floor. Okay, so let me look below me, and it says surf. Okay, so I'm going to go down. Irene, the pub keeper in a town to the east, might know about the cult. Okay, so I can ask people about the cult that caused the shipwreck. Um, I, I should keep some notes here of keywords. I don't know if you get a keyword bank. That wouldn't be something that would be in an old school game, but sometimes it's really, you know, like games that are created now that are throwback games do like pepper in some quality of life features. So let me just, I'm going to make a, a keyword list on a separate document here. Um, keywords for Knox. Uh, cult is one, you know, shipwreck, I guess, is another. I don't need to ask anybody about the captain's log. And I'm sure, guessing you can probably, you know, um, just like, I don't want to say guess, but I bet you can make up some keywords and see if you can figure things out, but I'm not sure. All right. This is your first quest. Press the... Uh, forward slash key to view your quests. Okay, cool. All right. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to look at this. What's right below me? This is uh, sand. Okay, I can walk on sand. Sweet. All right. Oh, okay. So now I've teleported out to like the world map and you can see there's the town with Irene right there. Wow, we didn't make it very far off the coast. Now, I'm not sure how close I am to the Queen's area where we embarked from but this is windmar it says i'm going to walk over here this water is shallow enough i'm on the sandbar we're going to walk and we're going to walk and we're going to walk and we've made it onto the land oh my god i'm saved okay crisis averted so that was a quite the tumultuous beginning. You know, we, we were all pumped up to be an adventurer. Now, I'm just going to be the first one to say we kind of like went on this quest to investigate the dark void for the queen with our writ of authority. Little underprepared. We're first level with a knife and some clothes on. Um, I mean, I love the enthusiasm, but we need some better stuff. Uh, and, you know... It either makes me suspicious of the queen's judgment or makes me think that the queen might be questionably aligned with the cultists to send someone like me on this mission. But luckily, we got out of the frying pan, we got into the fire because the ship wrecked, but we got out of the brig, we made it, we're on land, now we can level ourselves up perhaps, get stronger, find some friends to really get to the bottom of this cult. So let's step over here and let me look at the terrain. What is this that I'm on? Um, it's sand. Okay. And we're going to go up here and let's go into the town. And this is Everton. Boom. Oh my gosh. Look how awesome Everton is. Look at these guards. Oh, it's got fantastic music. There's a well. There's a big candelabra and somebody with a top hat. Maybe the town greeter. Um, we'll find out. Let me see if I can... Uh, let me look at this guy. It says um, he's a guard. Yes, indeed. Can I talk to you? And he says... The guard glares papers. You hand over the writ from the queen. The guard's eyes widen with respect. Welcome. We were going to throw you in the brig. But luckily, you've got the writ. Finally, somebody that respects my writ. We're welcome in the town. All right, let's go in. He doesn't really have much to say to me otherwise. Let's talk to this greeter. All right. 
let me look at this person. This is the human villager. All right. Well, they're they're of some esteem with this beautiful hat that they have. Let me talk to them. You see a short woman with a warm smile. Oh, God. All right. So I was kind of assuming that this was a male figure in the top hat, but I uh, assumed incorrectly. It's a short woman with a warm smile. Now, I would say, you know, well, she's the same height as me, but I'm a dwarf, so that makes sense. Welcome to Everton, she says. Enjoy our town. Press a key. All right, so she's just the town greeter. All right, so she's the Walmart greeter for the area, and that's fantastic. Now, there's some doors down here. They're blue and orange. I don't know if that means that they're locked, but I'm going to go to uh, the inn, you know. Oh, wow, look at this swarthy individual up here. What are you doing? Is that a... You're either swinging a sword or you have a loot. Like, I don't know what this is. Let's find out. I'm going to go look. Oh, you moved. They're moving away from me. Okay, here we go. Who are you? A warrior. Oh, my gosh. Talk to the warrior. You see a woman in armor. I do see her. Um, Good hunting, she says. Uh, okay. Let me see if I can, like, I'm just going to talk to her again. You see a woman in armor. Um, I'm going to say party. I don't know anything about that. Join. Let's go. Nothing is better at night. We should buy some torches. Yes. Is she in? Did she join me? <laughs> I just was like, I'm going to see if she, this person could join me. They clearly look like they wanted to be in a group, right? So let's see what we got here. Push tab. Yes, we got Bridget. I don't know if that's good, but I'm thrilled about it, right? So Bridget's in the group. I told you, I'm just going to make up keywords, see if I could get people to do my bidding. All right, we got somebody in. All right. Well, maybe this woman down here is a mage. Let me see if I could get information on Bridget. Um, I'm going to go here, and let's see, Bridget. Um, no, not ready to equipment. Let me see. Yeah, Bridget. No, 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 no. Um, oh, oh, space is next character. Bridget, here we go. Uh, let me go to number one screen. She's a female human. She is exactly like me. So she's a warrior like me. So I want two tanks for sure. All right. So I'll take that. That's great. Now, let me see if this person will join me. Are you in? She looks like a wizard. You want to join? Bartenders in most pubs will know if there's anybody in their town who's looking to join an adventuring party. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to write this keyword down. Join. It's money. They recognize it. Okay, um, let's see. Irene, do you know about Irene? I don't know anything about that. Maybe somebody at the pub does. Ooh, pub is a keyword. Irene. Here, let me try the. I spelled it wrong. All right, she don't know it. Um, I don't know if you have to capitalize it correctly, but that's fine. Um, pub, all right. What about shop? Do you know where a shop is? I need to buy stuff. Uh, all right, she don't know about shop. Buy? Nah, she don't got that. Um, in? She ain't down with that. Um, queen? You know anything about the queen? Nah, she ain't got that either. All right, she helped me out. A little bit, but we're learning some, some words as we go. Look at those ducks over there, those birds. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's walk over here. And what is this? Is this like the... This looks like a shop, like the blacksmith or something. Let me see if I can... Hey, come back, dude. Can I talk to you? Cool, you can talk across the table. I wasn't sure if I could. So this person sells torches, lockpicks, and hunting knives. Um, now, my companion did say we needed torches, right? Welcome to Stick It and Prick It. That is hilarious. We're in my favorite shop, Stick It and Prick It. And let's see what question mark does. So for these torches, um, oh, it gives you the key commands, right? So I can say info... Right, and I can say question mark again. Return, buy and sell, buy menu, sell menu. Okay, um, I'm going to buy one torch, all right? One. Just give me one. Sold. Use it with care. All right, let's see what else they have. So they have 
also uh, a hunting knife. Oh wait, maybe this is my inventory on the le on the uh, left here. It is. It says party inventory. Okay, so this would be me, me like selling my own stuff, which I don't want to do. And they only have a few things. Tab next menu, party inventory, party inventory. Ooh, I have lesser heal. Uh, maybe that's my spell that I have selected is lesser heal, or that's a potion. It's in parentheses one. Let me see what the info is on this. Weight, intelligence required eight. And maybe it is my spell. I really don't know. But I'm excited to find out. I think it... I mean, it seems like a spell if it requires 8 intelligence. Let me uh, look at Magic Missile. This requires 18 intelligence and does 17 spell damage, which is a, not a small amount. Um, okay. Oh, well, there was a spell menu back there. Let me push tab. Let me push tab. And... Let me go into the push five to go to the spell screen. And let's see about um, who has this readied. Ready spell to which slot? Uh, two. Okay, no, that the parentheses means which slot it's readied to. So in when it was asking me. Um, to cast a spell in combat, I really wasn't sure what to do, but I think I was supposed to push one, but all I would have done is cast heal, which I didn't need to do. Um, so, fair enough. Okay. Um, I'm going to push escape and get out of this. Alright, so this is the little shop here, and let's go find Irene at the inn. I'm just going to follow the road around here. All right, now nah, these are all closed. The inn will be open. Who's this? This person has a sword. I hope they're a thief. If you're like a rogue, I'm in. What are you? I need a thief. It's a child. Oh, man. I don't know if you can recruit children. It's probably... There's labor laws, I'm sure, that would prevent that. All right, so this is a big gathering place for sure. This looks like the inn. Oh my, who is this person? This is a ranger. Oh, you're in. Hey, can I talk to you? Ranger. From the way she handles her crossbow, she appears very skilled in her craft. You want to join up? Check with Bridget over by the town lagoon. In other towns, ask the pub keeper. They usually know who's looking for adventure. Okay, I did get Bridget. I'm in with Bridget. Good hunting. So this person's like, I'm way too powerful for you. I have no desire to even meet with you, that's fine. And let's talk over here. This is... <laughs> you see a saucy woman behind the bar. Welcome to the scuttlebutt, where we talk trash and take it out. How about a drink? Um, no thank you. Tito... Taller, eh? Suit yourself. Um, or... T... To Taylor? Stay out of trouble. All right. Are you Irene? No, nah, she's just a bartender, maybe. Actually, no, I could talk to her, though. Um, let me see if I could talk to you, and then let me see if I get an option to speak. Okay, I'm going to say um, Colt. You think... I've got nothing better to do than chit-chat with you. Buy a drink and we'll talk about cult. Oh, okay, I gotta buy a drink. All right, fine, I'll buy a drink. Talk. Buy a drink for Miss Lady. All right, Lady. Yes. Would you like a mug of ale or a round for the house? I am not wealthy enough for a round for the house. Here you go, enjoy your mug. Stay out of trouble. Oh, wait, oh, God. I lost my opportunity, I think. Um, let me see if... Uh, yeah, buy a drink, mug of ale, here you go, and then cult. Let me see if I can ask you about cult. I might know something about that. One gold might refresh my memory. Deal? Yes, it's a deal. I don't repeat gossip, so listen carefully. Several men working for your Nox Yiviar, a mage in Surtheld Castle, took a lot of interest in some black robe types. Okay, 
So she is saying, like, I ain't repeating it. So let's write this down. Um, Knox, uh, Yiviar, okay, and then Sirthheld Castle. All right. Black robe types, indeed. In here the other day. Stay out of trouble. Okay. All right, so I guess I need to go to Sirthheld Castle. Uh, fair enough. Let's see if she knows anything. Hey, lady. Cult. I don't know anything about that. Um, what about Knox? Do you know anything about Knox? She ain't got it. Um, pub. She ain't got that. Castle. She ain't down with that. All right. Fair enough. So we kind of have an idea where to go. We need to go to the castle. Just looking around. All right, that is not a valid command. I'll talk to the kid. I'm sure the kid knows everything there is to know about, you know, the cult. All right, what is this? Is this a... This is Merlin's hideout. Can I open Merlin's hideout? Um, what are these things? An outhouse. Oh, Merlin's hideout is the bathroom. That is hilarious. Okay. Now, I didn't expect that. Uh, who are you? Um, hey, come back. Don't do that to me. Don't treat me that way. All right. Um, welcome to Jorbark's Adventure Provisions. We sell dried meat in 50 packs for one gold each. How many do you want? Wow, look at this. So this is the only shopkeeper I think I've been to so far that has their own animated screen. All right. So this is Jorbox, and uh, we want one at least, right? Here's your rations. Come again. That's pretty cheap for rations. Now I have 102 food. There's two of us. We haven't eaten yet, so I don't know what the the rate is. Um, this is like their private chamber. I probably shouldn't go in there. Please don't be upset that I went into your house. Uh, okay, and let's see. Blocked by the birds. Wow, I got annihilated by the birds. What's down here? No key that fits. All right, what's this fountain? Water well, indeed. Can I use that? No, you can't. All right. Can I search it? Nothing found. That's a shame. All right. So we got a new person in our group. And let me look at my inventory. Let me see what I got. If I were to push four to just go to my general stuff, I have um, three torches, four lockpicks, some coins. Uh, I'm going to go buy some more stuff. You know, I don't know if... I don't think what I have is enough. I, I'm going to buy a little bit more food. And I'm going to buy some more just lockpicks and stuff. We have weapons, so that's not necessary. I'm going to buy uh, two torches. And I'm going to buy two lockpicks. And we're down to five gold. And I'll buy one more um, thing of food. And hopefully that'll be good enough. I have no idea. But I'm, I'm just... We're going to see how much food we actually consume here. Let's go ahead and talk to you. But that was... Uh, Jorback. I need one. One Jorback. All right, thanks, Jorbs. Jorback. All right. Invalid command. Story of my life. Invalid commands. All right. Uh, oh, who's that person? I saw somebody just strolling around that I had never seen before. Where did you go? I, I swore I saw some unique individual. Uh, maybe it was just a figment of my imagination. Oh my god, the birds. Alright, let's go out. Exit the area, you bet. Alright, so I'm looking for a castle, I suppose, right? So let's go to the castle and find Nox Yiviar. Right, I'm following this road. Alright, that looks like just a random bad person. Uh, like a highwayman or something. Let's see what's over here. And we're in battle. It's a rabble rouser. There's four rabble rousers, indeed. Um, we're going tactical for this. I want to get into a fight. Let's see what we can do in this fight. All right, I'm going to walk over here, and Bridget will go up. All right, and I'm going to move up, and Bridget, um, I'm not. I'm going to move, actually. If I move up, it feels like they get a free hit. 
so I'm just going to kind of end the turn. She did nothing. Um, space. Pass. Okay, great. So you can push space to pass the turn, which is what I want to do, so they have to come up on me. And I'm going to push A and just attack um, with this right above me. And we killed it. Got two experience, and then bridge it. You can also attack right up above you. She missed. She did got hit, but for no damage. All right, I'm going to move up. And Bridget is going to attack right above her. Oh, God. Glancing blow. Bridget. Oh, this is Dr. Incompetent. Okay, I'm going to go over here. And then Bridget, we're going to attack above. All right, she's missing a little bit, but that's okay. Um, all right, you... You could see who's active. Not only does it say in the lower right, like Doctor Incompetent, but also there's like a blinking cursor below the character that's active. So I'm going to push A and attack the dude above me. Dead. All right, Bridget, can you cast a spell? What about cast Magic Missile? Um, Arundius Med Magica, select target, right above you. Bam, blasted it. Okay, so the, the purple bar, the or the pink bar, whatever you want to call it, is your magic points. So she used a little magic to kill that thing. Oh, wait. That guy is attacking on the diagonal. Now, wait a minute. Maybe you can attack on diagonals, but not move on diagonals. Let's find out about this. All right, Bridget, attack um, up here. Yeah, you sure can. Okay, so you can attack on diagonals, but, but you can't move on diagonals. I use the numpad to do that. I'm actually going to check the movement to make sure you can't, but here we go. Attack. She got it. Yes. Press escape to exit. We did it. We got eight experience and ten gold. Now, let's see if... Sometimes in these older games, like, only the person who does the action gets the experience. But it looks by this screen that everybody gets eight experience. And everybody get you know, or we get ten experience... Or ten gold, rather, for, for everyone. Not ten for each person, but ten total. And then eight total for each person. Um, I think is the way I'm interpreting that. Let me go ahead and push tab, tab, and no. Okay, so here's how you interpret that. Um, we got eight experience, but we we share it. So um, I have six experience right now. I had two from the rat or the whatever I beat before rat. We got eight divided by two, four each. Okay, there we go. But that's a lot of gold for us because we just spent all that gold buying like lockpicks and torches and stuff. So we're pretty well doing it. Um, you cannot walk diagonals, but you can attack diagonals. Okay. And I'm going to go up here. And we're just going to kind of follow this path. And I'm looking for the castle. All right, I'm going to... I pushed question mark. And here's the quick reference. Okay. So, great, they do give you some, the key commands. Uh, let's see, get location is G. Quest log. Oh, actually, let me check my quest log. Why wasn't I, I forgot about that. Uh, it says, talk to Irene, the pub keeper in Everton about the cult, and follow up on her insights. Okay, so I think that's what I did. But maybe I was supposed to talk talk to her, but she didn't say anything else in all capital letters, which is why I'm just kind of doing this. And where am I now? I'm in Winmar. Okay. So let's look for the other castle. Maybe it's around here. Oh, well, here's a town with like, or here's a water mill anyway. I feel like, am I going too far? Generally in these kind of games, if you cross a bridge, you might be heading for disaster. So I'm thinking, like, maybe I'm going a little bit too far. Like, maybe I need to go back and talk to Irene more about the castle and Nox Yivyar. I just kind of, like, you know, sometimes in, like, Dragon Warrior, the castle is, like, right outside the town or nearby. So this looks a little bit further than I thought. By the way, I haven't used any food yet, so maybe food is, like, each day. Oh, sweet. I want to fight this thing. Rebel Rousers. Come on, let's go. There's only two of them. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try quick. What does quick do? <laughs> like that. Okay. So bam, bam, and uh, we got it. That was sweet. So I love auto battle, and I love that they have that in there. I mean, I knew that fight was going to be easy. They're one hit, and I don't even know if they can do damage to us. 
we didn't get anything less for doing quick. We got the same amount. We just killed it really fast. So I'm going to go over here, and you have to enter on the bottom of the town. Here we go. And we're back in Everton. So awesome. So I'm going to go talk to Irene again, see if I can't get some more information. But we have survived the shipwreck. We got a new person in our party, Bridget. Um, we're, you know, fighting foes around, and we're following up on information about the cult for the queen. Everyone, I think this is a good place to stop this first episode of uh, Nox Archaist. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Do you, um, does this bring back memories for you? Have you played this game? Do you have any tips or suggestions that are non-spoilery about the game? Do you guys want to see more of this? What are your impressions of this, um, you know, unbelievably and unashamedly retro game that's just such a project uh, of love. I know that Lord British is actually in the game. You can meet Lord British, which is awesome uh, in terms of like, you know, Ultima feels. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Take care.